This is another video to complement the binary conversions, octa, hexadecimal conversion that we did earlier. Now, in the previous video, now this time around, we'll be doing the conversions from decimal to hexadecimal and from hexadecimal to decimal. Then you can use this principle as well with the help of our previous video in order to assist you in the conversions of this uh, exa to decimal from decimal to octa etc. Now the first question says, we should convert the decimal number here to hexadecimal. Now what you are going to do is that you press your mode, your base number is four. Now don't forget it is decimal that we are asked to convert. And our calculator is already in decimal, so press that decimal, which is 716. So we have to convert 716, so you have to press equals to. You make sure that it shows in that decimal. And now convert it, you take it to the hexadecimal you want to take it to. And hexadecimal button is this. So if you see, you see X here, you see deck here, you see bin here, you see ox here. So this is X. You don't need to press alpha or shift. You just press the button on that x then when you press you observe that what you have on your calculator is zero 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 you can see that you have two cc so that is why it is two cc base 16 because x i is what base 16 and that's why the answer is sorry the answer is what is option c two cc can you see option a is two one c so option c is the correct answer which is two cc base 16. now Questions. The second question says, press AC. Now, the second question says, or let me reset the calculator so that you can know how to do it as fast as possible. Now, convert hexadecimal to decimal. So, you still press your base number, your mode, press your base number, which is number four. Then take your calculator to hexa first. You know, the previous one is to convert from decimal to hexa. That's why we left it at deck. But this time around is from hexa to deck. So pre firstly press the button of X. Now when you press the button of X, then now say E5. E5 is what we have to convert. Now if you observe on your calculator here, we have alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. That is it. B, C, D, E, F. You don't need to press alpha or you don't need to press alpha before you press all these alphabets here. The alphabet we have there is E. Just press alphabet E. You don't need to press alpha. So you get, you don't need to press alpha. So press but uh, the button of this is straight up. Then press your five. We ask to convert E5. Don't forget this 16 is the, it shows that it is what? Exa. That's the meaning of the 16 here. So E5, then press equals two. It must show at Xa here. And as you can see, it shows that Xa. Then we are asked to convert to what? To decimal. So you just press the button of what? Of decimal. And where is deck? This is decimal button. So just press it. As you can see, you have 229. 229. So the answer is 229. And decimal is base what? Base 10. And the final answer here is option what? Option A. So that is the correct answer. This is how to convert with EXA. So uh, I hope you've learned something today. And I would love you to do this one and give me the final answer at the uh at the comment section now let me have the answer convert this to decimal convert this to decimal or let me even say convert this hexadecimal to let me say to octa to octa convert this hexadecimal to octa to octa let me have the final answer at the comment section and what is the value you are you are asked to find. Convert A3D base 16. No base 16 is exa. Convert A3D base 16 to octa. To octa. Convert on your calculator and tell me the final answer at the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Now, for those of you that you don't know about the binary, octa, we've done it before. Check our videos. Then you are going to see the one for the binary octa etc thank you very much god bless you